Well, this cash cow never seems to quit. This is uh, 11 boxes of tapes that I actually just picked up. The guy I bought, them, bought a bunch of tapes from last spring called me up and said he found some more. So I gave him $50 for uh, about three of these big boxes full of tapes. And I just sold these 11 to a, a previous customer on tapes for $330. This uh, massager by Oster vintage 1950s or 60s. Uh, I sold this once before. I think I took a video of it. It was returned because the person that bought it said that it wasn't as powerful as they remembered their old one they used to have. So they did it all outside of uh, the eBay return system and I just returned them the uh, cost of the item, no shipping, and they didn't complain. So it sold again for $40. This obviously is a Paps trucker hat. I didn't know what else to do with the description other than call it uh, the big letter Paps hat. Like, uh, that's a thing. Somebody paid $20 for it. It was just a, a 50 cent garage sale find. And then I sold 152 tapes for $400. These are all uh, used tapes from the 70s. Got your Max L, TDK, a couple different styles. And then these Sony 90 minute HF tapes. And uh, I gotta go find the guy I've been buying these tapes from. I think he's got some more of these Maxell tapes for sale. But uh, $400, pretty good deal. This is a Canon SLR 35 millimeter camera kit. It's the uh, AE1 program. I bought this whole set, including these lenses, all this other uh, accessory equipment and canvas bag uh, for $40 from a guy on Craigslist. Now this was over a year ago and it looked like I could probably get a lot of money for it and I've had it up for quite a while at uh, about $300 but finally took an offer of $175. This uh, teapot I found uh, in a box lot from an auction. Actually, it was uh, the outside part of the auction where uh, when the bidding slows down to just two dollars, they'll sell the whole row. And there was a card table I wanted for my kids. And uh, so I bid uh, the two dollars and got the whole row. And this was in one of the boxes. And uh, instead of throwing it out, I did a little research on it. And it's a uh, Vernon Ware Mayflower. From California and it's just you know it's got a couple little stains here but no cracks or chips amazing that it survived because it was just loose in a box and it sold for $60 this is a pair of uh, new old stock 80s Converse all-star sneakers As you can see they're unworn a little bit of shelf wear on them and I bought two pairs of these for uh, two dollars a piece and this pair sold for ninety dollars this is a uh, columbia winter jacket it's just a shell it doesn't have the liner in it and it's uh, a willow wall i don't know what that means but uh, this color seems to be very popular i always pick these up for a few dollars when i see them at garage sales and it sold for thirty dollars this is a game from the uh, 80s called time tripper after doing the research it's actually a Vietnam War game involving time travel. It was complete with all these little pieces in it and I picked it up at a, an estate sale on the second day so it was just two dollars and it sold for thirty dollars and it's going to Japan. This is a corduroy newsboy or cabbie hat. Got some uh, air pillows in there holding it up like that. With the snap brim I pick these up whenever they're nice and clean and no damage, and this one was just $2 at a garage sale and it sold for $20. This is another pre-recorded reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape that I picked up uh, at an auction, part of a box lot. This one's Eddie Harris's uh, Ex Exodus to Jazz. It's actually pretty good. I always listen to them first, make sure everything's working or uh, playing right on them. And, uh, you know, they're just short little just one album on a tape, but this sold for $35. This is an AT&T answering 
machine using the uh, micro cassettes. Anytime I find an answering machine that uses tape, I always pick it up because people like them. I'm not sure why. For some reason they like maybe the fact that it, the non-digital is like not saved forever. Tapes can be erased easy. This was a dollar at a garage sale and it sold for $40. These uh, Super Shooter Electric Food Guns uh, they take forever to sell. You got to make sure they're all clean so they take a little bit of work. And every time I sell one I say I'm not buying those again but I always come across them for just a couple dollars at garage sales and they eventually sell. This one sold for uh, $29.99. This is a uh, Sony digital video camera. I picked this up at a yard sale. Uh, it was less than $10 because I bundled it with a bunch of other things. And uh, it uses the uh, mini DV cassette tapes. And uh, somebody is selling these brand new or never used for $100. But uh, I didn't think their listing was that good. And uh, they didn't even emphasize the fact that it's a Carl Zeiss lens on it. Even though this one's got some scrapes and stuff, I still sold it for $100. This is a Heathkit brand tube amplifier, sans tubes, and uh, this I, I picked this up at an auction. I bid up to $25 for it, thinking I might have the tubes, which I didn't. So it kinda, just kind of languished in the basement for quite a while. I finally saw it yesterday in a corner, so I cleaned it up. I listed it for $100, and when I woke up this morning, it had sold. This is a contractor's toolbox. It's uh, 30 inches long. It's kind of beat up. I found it at a garage sale for just uh, uh, $6. And I had it up for $79.99 or best offer and somebody just uh, paid full price for it. It took about uh, four months to sell. Yeah, How about that? Two places, well.